was a competitive figure skater. Um, I was at practice one day at Men in Arena, and I just I I knew something was wrong. I wasn't feeling right. Uh, I was seeing black spots, and my my vision was blurred. I I could feel my heart racing in my chest. I felt it like beating against my chest, and it was it was really scary. And nothing like this I've ever felt anything like this. Um, and so I had to get off the ice as soon as I was feeling this. So I just skated over to the rink door and that's when my coach followed me out and she, um, and I called my mom and that's when I went right to the hospital. When I heard I had ARVD, I honestly had no clue what that meant. Like they told me I had a arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasmia. And like, that's just a jumble of words that to like a 15 year old girl mean nothing. So the first thing I asked was, what does that mean? Like, what does that mean for my life? And they basically said, well, you're not going to be skating anymore. You're not going to be able to run. You're not going to be able to do a lot of things that kids your age do. You can't play sports. You can't play you can't do gym class, even simple stuff like that. And so that's when I knew that this was something that was really serious and was really going to change my life. I mean, it was my whole life. I, I woke up before school. I went to the rink. I got off of school. We went to the rink. On the weekends, I went to the rink. Um, it was, I spent probably more time at an ice rink than I did at home. And I loved it that way. It was perfect. I saw my friends from the rink all the time. I was able to, I was happy. I was seeing my coaches. I was doing what I loved. And sometimes it just felt like, oh, do I have to go to the rink today? But at the end of the day, when I was on the ice, it was just, I was just so happy. It was something I really loved to do. It meant everything. I mean, I spent so much time doing it um it was like eight years of my life more than that even that I was building up skills I was um competing I was I had hoped that I would really be um maybe even in the Olympics one day or I had big dreams for it I felt like I was going to keep skating through high school through college maybe become a skating coach one day. So it was really something that it was a long-term plan of mine to just be a figure skater. So during my diagnosis process, I had to get an AED machine, which is a defibrillator. And the process to get that was kind of crazy. And luckily my mom just took over on that completely. She dealt with the insurance. She dealt with getting the prescription for it, um, communicating what needed to be done um, with a bunch of different people. But I knew that we were lucky enough to have health insurance. And at the time, we actually paid out of pocket for it because the insurance just wouldn't approve it. And we needed to have that device in case something happened to me. And I realized that not everyone can afford these devices they're really expensive and it's really unfortunate because in some scenarios they really are completely necessary to save a life and so I wanted to help other families or youth groups organizations by giving them an AED machine that they didn't have to pay for so that if something did happen or if they had a higher risk of something happening they would feel safer and they would be prepared to deal with this emergency. And I thought that that was just something meaningful I could do with a lot of the time that I used to spend skating and now I can spend making a difference.